Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Allison, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create this wonderful Brigitte Lindholm makeup look. This is actually my Halloween costume, um, and I'm gonna be bringing her to conventions as well, so it's kind of like a twofer, but I wanted to show you guys how I achieve my Brigitte makeup look. The first thing we're going to do is prime our face. I am using the e.l.f. primer. This is the hydrating face primer. I swear I just washed my hands. I did it off camera, but I did wash my hands. Next, I'm going to be using my go-to foundation. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay in the shade Beige, and I'm gonna be putting this all over my face. Next, I'm going with my concealer. This is the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This concealer is very um, thick. <laughs> you don't have to use this thick of a concealer. Any concealer will really work, but this has just kind of been my go-to recently. The great thing about this concealer is that you can also use it as a highlighter. So that's what I use it for. I do highlight the bridge of my nose and also up a little bit on my forehead. Next thing we're gonna do is set our foundation with the Peach Perfect Translucent Powder. So once we're done that, we're gonna go in with a little bit of a contour. Uh, this is just kind of a powder bronzer, but I actually use it uh, to contour my cheekbones and also the bridge of my nose. So we're going to start on the eyeshadow. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. And the first shade I'm going to use, of course, is Divinity and just go all over my lid as kind of a base. I wish you guys could smell this palette. It smells so good. The next color I'm going to use is Almond Truffle, which is up here in the top right hand corner. I'm kind of going to work that a little bit above my crease, not quite at my crease because I have very, very small eyes. So I tend to go a little bit above where my crease actually is. Now that we've got that on, we're going to go into Mocha here, which is a little bit darker and kind of go just on the outer corners of the eyes and try to darken it up a bit. And then we're gonna go into our darkest shade, which is going to be Bordeaux, which is kind of this almost like reddish one here. I don't wanna do a lot of that though, um, because it does come very dark. I just want a little bit more definition. While we're still doing eyeshadow, this is where I like to do my eyebrows. Brigitte has these uh, kind of darker red eyebrows, so I'm going into kind of a cheap palette that I bought on Amazon um, and going into the color mauve. So it's kind of like a dark, almost maroon color. And it's perfect for her eyes. So I am using the NYX uh, Epic Eyeliner in the black shade, and I'm just gonna go in and do a very small cat eye, um, but her cat eye is just a little thick, so it's just gonna be a small, tiny little bit on the outer corner. Thank you. 
Now that that's done, we're gonna use a regular pencil eyeliner and go underneath our eyes. So now we're gonna go in with mascara. I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, the non-waterproof one. So one thing that I'm foregoing that uh, you guys might wanna do is eyelashes. Um, normally I do do falsies, but with Brigitte, she doesn't have a very defined lash line. So I am kind of skipping out on this for now because all the lashes I have are uh, very thick or are like very dramatic. Um, so if you're going with this, you wanna go with more of a natural lash. So the next thing we're gonna do is her freckles. Um, so there's a couple ways you can do this. There's a lot of tutorials online that'll show you uh, how to use like a large kabuki brush and make um, you know freckles on your face using a darker complex foundation. But you can also use an eyebrow pencil. This is what I tend to use. I just think it looks a little bit more natural. Uh, they tend to have a more rounder shape, but I mean, hey, whatever is you're going for. So after you've done your freckles, uh, this is when I like to go in for my blush. Um, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of my blush here and just go over my cheeks just a little. Kind of make it look a little natural, but not super, super dark. And then I also like to take a little bit and just put it on the top of my nose. <laughs> so this is uh, my liquid lipstick. This is from a brand called Kiko Milano. Um, I don't know if they're still around anymore because they closed in the mall I was at. So they don't even have the color on here. So I'm just I'm just gonna put this on. Last but not least is setting spray. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea setting spray and also it's kind of like a four in one um, setting mist. Now that this is all done, I'm gonna go put my wig on and show you the finished transformation. And there you have it. This is my finished Brigitte Lintol makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like on the video and comment what you are being for Halloween this year. I'm going to be posting way more content about my Brigitte cosplay and how I made multiple other elements, so make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel. I will also be leaving where I got my t-shirt and wig down in the description for you if you guys want to cosplay Brigitte yourself. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later. Bye!